everyone so welcome to my health and happiness channel so i am bringing you here to sunset cliff so i'm going to do a eight month update of how it's been here for me in san diego and i'm going to show you a little bit of it i'm at sunset cliff it's super beautiful so if you hear the crashing waves below me that's what you hear what could i say about san diego do i love it do i hate it do i want to leave and the answer is hell damn no i don't want to leave but I'm going to be recording some of this in another place because it is hella noisy, although it's beautiful, and I'm gonna show you what I see. Hi everybody, so welcome to my health and happiness channel. So I'm coming to you with an eight month update of my life here in san diego don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and check me out on instagram at camera barbie if you want to see some videos and pictures of stuff that i've done while i'm here so let's get right on into it. life here in san diego is very relaxed i'm going to give you some examples i'm going to have some vlogs i'm actually going to be moving in four months i'll tell you where i'm moving to but I will be releasing all of my footage, all of my videos of everything I've been doing here so you can decide if this is something that you want to do. And if you haven't noticed, I have been slacking on YouTube. Why? Because I've just been trying to enjoy my life here. So that should give you an indication of how I feel about San Diego already. If I want to enjoy my life here, opposed to like posting every single thing that I do on a daily basis. Now, in terms of what is it that I love doing while I'm here in San Diego, honestly, I love hiking. I become an avid hiker. Yes, you're going to see footage from me of me hiking. I become an avid hiker since I've been here. Yeah, I was like, ah, black girls don't hike. Yes, we do. We do hike. I never hiked a day before coming here. I've always liked walks in New York, but coming here, I'm like, ah, I'm hiking, babe. Like, where they do that at? Here, okay so I just need me a hiking boo and I've done some hikes that have been considered to be scary and all of that nature and I will post them some of them are actually on my um, Instagram if you check that out Kara Barbie plug but um, I love hiking it's very relaxing to me and it's very cathartic there's such a natural beauty here that things that you might have felt like you wouldn't normally do you would do so I would say my heart is here. Plus, I like crop tops. I love crop tops, okay? So, my friends always say, Kara, you love crop tops. You need a place that's hot, and this is a place for me. I love, 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 love crop tops. I can wear them all day, every day. I'm not really a short person because I got a big booty, so I don't want my booty cheeks out. I like wearing a bikini. You can do that all day, every day here in San Diego. I am an adrenaline junkie, so if you want things that are adrenaline seeking, I would say I found some hidden places to go it doesn't have any signs and you probably shouldn't be going there but i did it i'm also going to do paragliding in a tandem before i leave one thing that i want to let people know when you come to san diego you will be taking a pay cut most people that i know have taken a pay cut i took a 10 dollar pay cut for one job and um a $15 pay cut for another job. I had two different jobs in my field um, before I came here. So most people take like a 20% pay cut and you could take up to 40% of a pay cut. Now, why am I leaving? I am leaving because I've went through three jobs since I've been here and sometimes when you're pushing something to work in your favor and it doesn't, you gotta know when to pack it up and leave. I am in a profession and I've been in for 10 years. I have my master's in it and it's just not lucrative for me here um, in my field. So right now I actually commute two hours and like 30 minutes or two hours a day to LA because this is my third job being here because I'm the type of person that I know my worth. If I don't like something, I will leave. So I have no problems quitting a job if it doesn't work for me because I can get that pay in New York. So I moved out here because I really needed a break from New York City. I just felt really stressed out. Um, I just felt like my quality of life was being compromised and people don't understand it. but you know that could affect how you feel mentally and people don't realize that so i didn't want anything like that to be compromised so i said you know what i'm really realizing i don't feel like myself i'm gonna move and i'll see how i feel somewhere else so i always gave myself of uh, going away from new york for one year and after one year coming back and seeing how i felt now i'm gonna tell you right now i was like Kara turned the hell up to a thousand before I came here and you see how I'm talking now like I am very calm like it takes a lot more to get me upset instead of me popping off all the time when I say popping off like I go through a lot of mood swings you know I go you know I'm a cancer what do people expect <laughs> but 
but yeah so i can go through like seven different moves in a day being a cancer but being here i've been more like calm things that typically would bother me doesn't bother me so i would definitely say yes your quality of life will improve you will not let things bother you if you're someone that do, does stress easily now contrary to popular belief it does get cold here yes the cold here is different than the cold in new york city on the east coast so at night it always decreases like by 10 degrees at night and depending on where you live here if you live by the ocean it gets even colder at night because of the coastal winds by the ocean it is actually april and i would say all from january february march it rained every day or every other day i felt like i was in seattle if it was like spring in new york city so contrary to popular belief it does get cooler here and it does rain here so you are going to need to have like a light jacket to bring here and you know you're gonna need a light jacket you just gonna need something a light jacket or you're gonna need like cardigans or sweaters you know maybe not like a full winter coat but you can you know because i did bring a pico but people do wear it because you just get acclimated to different weather so even if you're a person that's used to the cold on the east coast and you come here and you'll get colder quicker just because now you're used to the sun so i've become a little punk yes where it's like oh my god where's my pico i need my pico so so that's that but the weather is beautiful yes it is a healthy lifestyle you can definitely be your best fit self it's whatever you make it the west coast to me is for dreamers and creatives if you are someone that has a creative nature and if you are someone that has creative dreams i would say the west coast is great for you if you just want to hustle and make money quickly i would say the east coast is good for you so for me i have like two dualities that have been blended i like to make money maybe not so much hustle but i like to make money so i'm used to the hustle but i'm a very creative person i am a creative at heart so being here i'm going to create a dating app but long story short i'm a creative at heart so I feel like San Diego is a place that nurtures that creative aspect of yourself. All those things that you might hold at bay because you are probably like on the East Coast, you can nurture all of that here. And it's easy to meet people here. Like if you go on to meetup groups and stuff like that, you can meet people for whatever your niche is or whatever it is that you like. You can definitely meet them there and you're like close-knit group of friends to do different things with. In terms of food, I would say that once again, like I said, I don't think the Mexican food here is great, but I would say that I do like the Asian food here. I just pretty much love Thai, um, Asian fusion, Japanese barbecue, and I love Mexican food. So because of that, I don't find really great Mexican food here, but there's a couple places that I go to and I just eat there over and over again. In terms of things to do, I personally like dancing, so I will go downtown and I will go to clubs and you can get yourself a guest list there if you want to so that you don't really have to pay, you know, if you're a female. People here are just really, really, really nice. That's the only way I can ex explain it. Like, I feel like it is very inclusive. Everyone tends to be really nice and friendly. So that's what I really, really, really do love. I will be missing that when I go to the East Coast. The plastic bags. I know this sounds really weird, but on the East Coast, the plastic bags, you could just like throw them away. But the ones here, they're very durable. And I think it's because you pay for them. You pay like 10 cents per bag if you want them or you have your own like bag you bring with you to the supermarket. But they are like hella durable. So I would definitely say that they're hella durable. The best farmer's market is in Hillcrest. It even has all different types of international cuisine and that's why I personally love it. So I would definitely recommend that. You will be a lot calmer being here. And did I say the men are hot here? Yes, they are hot. But your girl has been mostly celibate here. I'll tell you why. Like I said before, I think the men here are very attractive. They're very hot. But even with that being said, I just, like I said, I sometimes have a hard time connecting and I'm an emotional person. So if I can't connect with you emotionally, then I don't want to have sex with you. So I just don't. I do go on dates. It's nothing wrong going on dates. So I'm not gonna lie, I love Aussies. Oh yes, I love men from Australia and I love a guy from the UK. So um, that's, I think, where I'm gonna be off to next. I definitely am going to be visiting other places. I do like solo travel as well. So anyway, back to that. I still have yet to go to Bonfire. So Bonfire is like one of my things that I wanted to do before I left. San Diego is a great place. It's a great place if you have family, if you're coming with kids, if you're coming by yourself, if you're coming with a mate. You can do all of that here. People say that it's very good for families, but it's very good for single people too. So if I could have found what I wanted in terms of my profession here, I would have stood here, but I will be back because I will be launching a dating app in a year or a year and a half, so I will definitely be back 
to San Diego. I love it so much. You never know what the future holds, but my goal right now is to enjoy the rest of the time I have here for four months. So ball till I fall and then head on back to the East Coast and make money to invest into my dating app and try to get that up and running, get, you know, uh, maybe venture capitalists and investors to invest in it once I get it up and running. I just want to enjoy life and be in the moment and that's what I've been doing while I've been here. I do post to my Instagram a lot more, but in terms of my YouTube videos, I will be posting those when more than likely I head on back to New York City in four months. But I will definitely try to post a video of San Diego, at least a vlog, so you can see some things that I do do before then. And I will be posting, you know, hair tutorials and stuff like that, maybe some dating story times. But I just don't want to definitely say, yes, I'm going to be posting all of these vlogs now. And then I will be releasing everything when I get back to the city in New York. Uh, so any question that you have, just let me know and I will try and answer them. So comment below.